Rally Monte Carlo, the rally every driver wants to win. This year it's a centenary edition of this challenging event. For Andreas and Ola, it's their first time in this historic rally, but they felt good about the preparations before the start. The feeling is, is very good. Um, we had a good uh, pre-season uh, testing and uh, the feeling is very good and we tried all the different tires on the different surfaces which is very important for here in Monte Carlo so the feeling is good but you can never be too sure about this, this rally. It's always very unpredictable so at the moment it looks very good. Uh, the conditions look like we can uh, see what's happening on the stages and it looks dry at the moment so hopefully it will stay dry when we get there. After going to Skoda, you have lots of testing. Have you ever been so well prepared for a rally as this one? No, never. It's It's been a lot of testing in front of this rally and the feeling is super nice. I have the car completely in my fingers and in my hands, so uh, that won't bother me at all. So uh, it's just about getting this rally right. It's my first time in Monte and it's a very special event, so we'll see. But it's all about getting the rhythm on the first stages and we can take it from there and see what happens. It's a few hours until the race starts. Well, what's your big uh, aim for this weekend? Uh, our main aim is just to finish this event, uh, coming with some points on the table for the rest of the series. Um, but you know, you have these other drivers coming to this event as a one-off who really wants to win this event. But uh, it's important for us to get some points uh, and to finish the rally and knock off. So um, that will be the main aim. Unfortunately, Andreas did not get to drive long enough to find his rhythm and score a good result after a problem very early in the opening stage. Cold tyres made the grip less than expected despite him warming them up before the start of the stage. The season is still long, so in the next event, the Rally Grand Canarias in April, the fight continues for the IRC Championship, both for Andreas and for Skoda UK. It didn't go as planned. Uh, we, uh, we, of course, we, uh, we had a mistake on the first stage, on the very beginning, so uh, uh, we couldn't uh, continue, so, um, but it's a real shame, real shame. It's the first race of the long season uh, you're a factory driver now how big how disappointed are you in, in this case of course uh, we came here uh, with one goal and that was to uh, to get to the finish and get some valuable experience and hopefully some points uh, going into the rest of the season but we won't get any points from this event um, but still we have many rallies to go um, you're, it's the best seven rallies that count so we still have a good possibility for the championship still